Recording in progress. We're live. Okay, good evening. The July 7th, 2021 meeting of the West Springfield Planning Board hereby called to order at 6 p.m. Pursuant to an act extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency, this meeting of the West Springfield Planning Board is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately, adequately access the proceedings. A reminder that persons who would like to participate in the meeting may do so by going to zoom.us forward slash join on a web browser or by calling 1-929-205-6099. And the meeting ID number is 886-8602-6533. Again, the phone number is 1-929-205-6099, and the ID number is 886-8602-6533. In accordance with MGL Chapter 30A, I must announce that anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves and provide his or her name and address for the record. I would also like to announce to all those participating in a remote meeting that this meeting is being recorded by the town and the recording will be available to the public. Please be advised that any document that is to be considered or discussed must be provided to the board and made part of the public, made part of the record of the meeting. <coughs> Excuse me. Documents include photos, plans, drawn, computer printout, simulation, video presentations, and the like, as well as letters and written materials. For remote meetings, documents may be emailed to the town planner. All audience members are asked to mute their devices until invited to speak. 6 p.m. CSX Transportation Site Plan Review to allow for the expansion of an existing gravel storage area for terminal operations with site <coughs> improvements including fencing stone and concrete dolly pads at a property located at 151 Day Street in the Industrial Zoning District. This is continued from June 16, 2021. Who do we have presenting? Um, Matt Stipula um, from EMH and T with a site civil engineer for uh, for CSX. Okay, well, you got the floor. Okay, um, so this project is, and I will, um, can I share my screen? Yeah, I gave yep. um, co host permission. You should be able to. Oh, okay. Let me. I'll pull up here. So this is an existing, I'm at the existing CSX facility on uh, Day Street. Um, oh, well, Day Street and Western Avenue. Um, this is actually, this, the facility's on Day Street. This project will take place um, along Western Avenue. And when it loads here, um, see this is the existing um, location where this project will occur. Here's, Can everybody hear them? Yeah. Um, this is, so this is Western Avenue over here. Um, the existing rail yard is located, um, south of the project. Um, there are several existing, uh, rail spurs that aren't, um, really in use right now for, uh, rail operations. So this area currently is, um, stoned area. Um, there's, like I said, there's some existing tracks. There's some, uh, some ramps, some existing rail cars that are used for storage. And the plan is to basically regrade this area um, so that it will drain and uh, put down new stone pavement. Um, we're also planning on putting concrete dolly pads, four feet concrete dolly pads for parking um, for the jack stands so that the uh, concrete pavement doesn't get torn up. Um, and then um, a few parking spaces for the, uh, for the signal department building here that's along Western Avenue. Um, so we're basically just kind of repaving this or re-grading this gravel area, um, putting down gravel pavement, um, and then with that, we'll be putting in a new storm infrastructure. And I can get to a uh, grading sheet here and, and show you. Um, basically, new um, storm infrastructure. The site will all drain down to these new inlets, um, and there. Are you trying to share? Are you trying to share it? Because we can't see nothing but you. Oh, right. right. 
Sorry. Oh, Back here we go. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, let me just jump back here real quick. This is the existing uh, existing yard I was talking about. There's several rail lines um, as well as uh, stone um, and some rail cars. Um, and then this is the proposed site plan that I was speaking about with the uh, four foot dolly pads. Um, the rest of this is all just going to be regraded stone. Uh, <coughs> there will be a fence around the site uh, just to secure it. Um, and then outside that fence will be some parking for this uh, existing signal department building. Um, and then kind of going to the, the gray. So basically everything will drain as it does today towards the north. We are putting in new inlets um, and we've been working with uh, Connor Knightley and, and on the stormwater basically to make sure that the city is good with our stormwater controls. We have a, a ditch along here that will um, help detain water. Um, as well as some oversized pipes, and there's some parking lot ponding that will occur um, down in the gravel around the inlet, um, and then a uh, basically a grit um, takes out um, the sediment and uh, any oil or grease that uh, might, um, it should be limited amount. This is just for storage of, of chassis um, and containers, but that would protect the system from any um, you know, any contaminants as well um, that is placed prior to the outlet. And we'll be tying in with an existing storm sewer pipe that ties into the, uh, the system in Western Avenue. Um, we'll be putting in uh, two new light poles as well. Um, and we are, uh, it's current off the bid, but we'll be either replacing the existing, there's an overhead electric line, it's a private line that runs through the site. We're planning on putting underground. Um, it's also a bit as an alternate to just relocate above ground to be outside of the uh, the plan improvements have to pull within a parking space. Um, what's shown on here, this is gravel, so they're not actually be striping. This is more for um, planning purposes and kind of showing the spacing. There won't actually be any striping out here since it is uh, gravel. <laughs> I don't know if there's any questions on the scope. Frank and muted. Can you unshare the screen so we can, uh, uh, so I yeah. can see everybody? Thank you. Okay. Um, Allison, is there any town comments? Um, we got some comments from DPW, which have gone back and forth with uh matt here and all of them were resolved and i received um confirmation of that from the town engineer connor knightley along with some suggested conditions which i've incorporated um into the conditions that have been sent to uh matt and to the board okay you get you saw the um email from the mayor I don't believe so. Uh, you might want to look at that. All right. See if you can find that, Allison, for yourself, and then uh, we'll see what the board's got to say. Uh, anybody in the, on the board got anything? Frank, I'm sorry. Just when was that sent? Uh, well, he sent it this morning. I never got it. And I text him, and then he resent it to me. So um, you want me to try forwarding it to you? Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, where is it? There. Um, okay, I have something from 5.30. You got it? Yep, do you want me to read it? Well, I mean, no, he's, I mean, basically, uh, he's very concerned about CXS not being a good neighbor. There's pictures attached to what... I don't know a nice way of putting it, but they're not very neat. There's trash all over the place. They've been asked to clean it up. They don't clean it up. Neighbors are angry. Uh, that's, you know, I guess the traffic and everything has not much to do with this, but how do we trust them to do a good job of what they're asking for when they've been asked to clean up their mess and they told us there was snow and I, I don't know. I went by there this morning. I didn't see much snow left, but, um, 
they really are cleaning up. So do we have a representative from CXX present, or are you the only one? Hey, you got a John Hall and Richard Hinsrich here from CSX. How's it going? All right. So I guess we'll hear from you. What's your uh, reasoning for not being such a good neighbor and not cleaning up? And unfortunately, you didn't get to see the pictures that have been uh, circulating. But part of our concern to give you uh, expansion <coughs> rights or whatever you want to call it is how do we know you're going to adhere to what we're what you're asking for and to what our conditions are if we can't be sure that you don't that you haven't cleaned up in the past where you were asked to uh with that was that not cleaned up i met with our uh state rep or our local representative with csx community relations and he uh he told me that that trash was cleaned up um but to that point you know this this is a, a division of csx intermodal terminals the csx transportation side where you're having those issues is another entity of csx um, that is csx transportation so the intermodal side of the yard does not deal with the trash trains we are the container and trailer business and do not abide with the same kind of issues that you're seeing on what i believe is the uh what the north end of the yard there so, so, so you're not part of the yard? You there? So CSX, yeah. So what we are is we are intermodal terminals. We are a separate business entity from CSX Corporation. So you have CSX Corporation, which has CSX Transportation and CSX Intermodal Terminals. CSX Intermodal Terminals does not own the property which you are talking about. What we have... So do you lease the property? Are you a tenant? We are, yeah. We, we lease the property from them. So we don't lease the property that you are having issues with. We are strictly the container yard at 151 Day Street. Hmm. I guess I guess I would have to uh, do a little more research. Um, there were some issues on Memorial Lab too. Unfortunately, I just got this information at 5:30, so I wasn't uh, wasn't didn't have the time to, to dig in a little deeper. So I apologize, but um, unfortunately, when people think CXS, they just think it's all one thing. And um, I know, I think some of the pictures we were looking at were by the underpass. Um, I'm trying to, where the heck do I go? I, I can't pull them up while I'm watching this. If I can pull up these pictures on another device here. Uh, uh, yeah, they were the bridge. From what I saw, it was the Bridge Street, which is, um, as they were saying, a little further north than this site. And so, the property you're referencing is not intermodal terminals, which is the property that is looking, or the uh, division of CSX that looking to have to get this work done. Hmm. Yes, uh, sir. This is Richard Hisrick with CSX as well. Um, you know, I, I just happened to um, just get the email as well. It was forwarded um, just a minute ago. Um, you know, what I can say, we'll take that up with our folks again. Um, seeing these pictures, um, make sure that that gets addressed, uh, work with them to get that addressed. Um, the area that we're talking about developing is, is a little different area here. Um, I think it's an improved use um, compared to what it is today. Um, we use it for storage of, of materials. Um, so it's, it's relatively clean, um, but I think that this use um, only helps clean up that area. Um, that's a separate area from what's shown in those photos. Um, and again, at this point, we're just seeing it as well um, right now. And you know, we will take it up with our folks to um, understand that the concerns of the town as well as the community and uh, work to become a, in your eyes, a better neighbor. So are you saying you're gonna, we're gonna take care of the cleaning up or we're gonna talk about it? You. Like you're going to talk to them, or you're committing to clean it up. I I will talk to our people to have it cleaned up. Um, just seeing it right now, um, I, I think that it's something that we will definitely address. Um, 
as to when I can't speak to that right at this moment. I can't say we'd be out there tomorrow um, or if it's going to take a week to get out there, but um, we will we will talk to our folks and, and get that addressed for sure. I mean, you understand where we're coming from. We're not trying to be. We're Absolutely. Pretty, we're a pretty flexible board for the most part, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's no nice way of putting it, but there's been several issues with CXS in general, whether it's blocking the railroad tracks, whether it's trash, whether it's trucks going up and down uh, Union Street. It, it, you know, there's a lot of animosity with citizens, and we, as a board, hear it constantly so it's our duty to bring this stuff up um unfortunately for you you're getting it all slammed on your lap um but someone's gotta someone's gotta take the brunt of it so i guess that would be you guys yep no full, fully understand the concerns fully understand the position of it um and like i said you know i i will i will make that a priority to address with our folks and and share the information that we got uh, via email tonight, um, as well as your concerns uh, about CSX as a community neighbor. Um, so. Thank you. Uh, board, anybody got anything? Go ahead, Bev. You know, th th I'm not aware of any of the problems because I haven't seen any of the pictures either, but my recommendation at this time was is that we table this until this is... Um, until they remedy this with the owner of the property. So there's no guarantees that if we vote on anything this evening to approve this, um, that any of this is gonna be addressed prior to our next meeting. I'd rather table this this evening and have them come back to us having spoken to the company owner and then, you know, then we'll make a recommendation one way or another if, you know, we agree with the, their terms. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I hear you loud and clear. We'll hear from the rest of the board if anybody's got anything, and then we'll see what our options are there. Um, I get, yeah, let's do that. Uh, anybody else on the board? Jay, Sue? Go ahead, Jay. Yeah, um, I guess I echo uh, most of what I, what I've heard said. I mean, I, I want to. I guess I want to do a little bit of homework on my own. Then, I mean, CSX uh, is also responsible for the uh, the uh, crossing from West Bend for the Agawam. Is that right? The the over by the river there, Strathmore. Exactly. Yeah. So, Richard, can you answer to that that railroad crossing? Like, is that not part of you guys? Is that the other part of the company? What's that? It, crossings are, yes, that's that's the other part of the company. This, you know, the intermodal terminals group is the, just operating the terminal um, for the containers um, on and off the trains. The actual movement of trains is another, uh, is the other group in CSX. So if that's blocking a crossing or or what? But just to clarify, the, the property that you're developing is owned by that other entity, which they're the ones they're the ones getting the okay to to modify their property. You guys may be doing it and applying, but we're giving a yes or no to them, um, which positively or negatively impacts their business. So. Um, kind of again stinks for you guys go ahead jay i agree with frank it stinks for you guys and i uh you know obviously you guys know enough not to take this personally but i mean if, if it seems to me that, that you, you've got a pretty uh unresponsible unresponsive at best landlord mother company however you want to call it mm -hmm. i mean we, we've been harping on that bridge crossing which i recognize is not why you're here or even your entity but you're talking about this is kind of corporate tax babble in my opinion. It's, it's, it's a company leasing to themselves and however you play with that. This is a company that for 10 years that I'm aware of, every time we made a complaint about the problem in writing from our mayors, joint mayors, each town, couldn't even give us the courtesy of responding with corporate babble. They just didn't respond at all, including their office at the state house. It's real hard to take anything 
that I might hear uh, credibly. I mean, this is, I don't know. I mean, one of the worst, I guess, I could say I've seen. Uh, Jay, I'll, I'll, you know, just to emphasize that a little more, this, this, this whole thing with the trash and the cleanup, not only do they not respond, when they do, they just, I mean, they should be politicians because they just blah, 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 and you, know, and you get nothing. They're just lip service. Yeah, we'll get it cleaned up as soon as the snow melts, and it's still there. Nothing's cleaned up, and maybe it'll snow again, and they'll have another excuse. But, again, unfortunately for you guys, we got a bad taste in our mouth. We have absolutely no um, communications with them that are worth anything. They don't care about the town or the neighbors. And to just make this easy and go for it, I, I, I'm not. I think I would have to do a little bit of research myself too. I'm not. I'm not comfortable moving on this tonight. As far as I'm concerned, we could. You know, we could. We should do some. Uh, we should do some a uh, little more digging, but I think we'd have to ask Allison what our options are um, with that. Allison, did you hear that? Uh, I I did. So um, I got the information at the same time as everybody else here. So I uh, I recommendation is to either condition the approval um, upon the cleanup of trash or continue it and see if there's something else that you'd like to ask for. But this is a site plan review, not a special permit. So any um, any reason for denying it or continuing it needs to be based upon zoning noncompliance, um, which certainly, you know, not maintaining the site in a uh, proper manner is, is part of that, but um, the the train track crossing issue, I wouldn't say falls within. No, I, I, I agree with you. I think that that's just a sore spot, but maintaining your property and the, and the tree belts and clean it up. And that's, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure that's a zoning issue and we could, we could continue based on that. Jay, you had your hand up. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of just hearing of this for the first time. I, I, I don't believe I received it. Did we all? Did we all get that? Did I miss no. It? Okay. No, you did not. So, personally speaking, I'd like to see what, what, what the complaints are. I'd also like to know if there are any others other than this trash that that we should be aware of. And I'm also curious to see if there's any other town department uh, comments that would be directly related to this project, and obviously leave the other stuff out of it. Uh, Jay, well, cut. go ahead, Allison. I'm sorry. I was going to say the town department comments specifically related to, were from engineering, which uh, the applicants did, did respond to diligently and, and were able to resolve. So, um, other than that, there aren't there there wasn't anything other than um, what I received from the mayor at 5:30 and saw just now. Um, and that email was from a town resident um, from February complaining about trash in the area of the Bridge Street overpass and um, Memorial Avenue as, as well. You know, I mean, I guess, to, to be honest with you, whether we continue it or not, they're either going to do it or they're not going to do it. I would be okay with a condition um, and just to be clear and on the record, um, I've had some discussions with with the mayor on enforcing these conditions. Um, I think a couple of you members and I have had this discussion where we put these conditions on and the uh, enforcement agent just, I don't know what they do. They don't check it or whatever. So that is internally being addressed. So... I guess at this point, I'll, I'll flow with the board. We can either uh, approve with an added condition that all their property in the town needs to be uh, brought up to par, or we can do our research and come back to this. It's, uh, I'm okay with it either way. Jay, go ahead. Um, is, is the only complaint I'm hearing that's on the table, the trash? 
Well, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's one sample that we got tonight. In other words, there was some discussions of this, that this was coming up, and we had gotten some pushback from neighbors or whatever, and I, and I had said to the mayor, I need, I need something to, to talk about. I can't just go in there and hearsay. So he had forwarded us. Um, unfortunately, he did it this morning. It never went. So we got it at 5.30 tonight um, where there was pictures attached. It's actually pretty disgusting looking when you see the pictures. Um, and I know, Richard, you just got them. Not sure how you got them, but you just got the pictures. So he's agreeing. Um, I mean, again, I'm, I'm okay with it either way. I don't want to drag this out all night. So, so we, if we have no technical questions, no um, pertaining actually to the site plan, then someone needs to make uh, um, some motions to either continue or um, continue, uh, approve with a uh, condition. Jay, go ahead. I, I, I think... I agree with you on that. This is ultimately, I, you know, I don't see with, with what's being proposed. Let me back up a minute. I, I, I have no reason uh, not to be in favor of it. I, mean, I think they're they're doing everything they need to. Our town engineers have uh, corresponded with them. They've resolved the problems. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to them. I'm not an engineer. Um, the, I guess the, the I guess just to be candid, what, where I'm sort of stuck is if. if, if we know that this is a, a there's trash all over that needs to be dealt with. I'm sure they'll they'll talk about it and, and, and deal with it. But if they don't, I'd like to know what enforcement policy we even have to work with because we know in this particular case this is a company that just doesn't respond. They just pretend to not hear you. I don't I'm, I'm not so, the, not present company. So I you know, but that has been the case for a decade. We're not talking about like oh whoops we missed this one. So what? Yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a company that I certainly wouldn't take their word for. So the next thing is, how do we protect our, our town? So, I think we're getting off into the nitty gritty of the operations and management of our town and their staff. Um, again, been been involved in working with it. Things are being done, management wise. Um, from what I understand, if we we are not an enforcement agent, we you know we're kind of like we're we're kind of like uh, politicians. We make up all these conditions, and then someone else has to enforce them. So we put the condition on. In this particular case, um, the inspector needs to make sure the conditions are met, or shouldn't sign off on the job. Um, so if there's a condition that you know, there needs to be, uh, you know, a light pole in a certain spot. Well, they can't, the, the inspector cannot, should not sign off on the job unless that, unless it's to the plan and the conditions are met. Um, so to answer your question, that's who the enforcement officer is. Um, Jay, go ahead. And then, you know, if, if that's the case, then... You know, I'm, um, I'm assuming the applicants have had time to review the suggested conditions. Is that, is that the case? Matt, you guys already looked at the suggested conditions, except if we're adding one about cleaning up, correct? That is correct. Okay. John, you had your hand up. Unmute, unmute yourself. Sure. So I was, uh, I was texting with uh, Maurice O'Connell, who's our director of state relations. Uh, here for CSX, and I asked him about the trash because it was my understanding that we did have that cleaned up. He said that it was, in fact, cleaned up uh, a couple months ago and that he contacted the mayor's office to let him know that it was done. Did that not occur, or is this new trash? Like, do we know when those photos were taken? Well, I'd hate to have you keep asking questions because you'll give us more reasons to continue. Not, not trying to be a wise guy, but all I can tell you is I got an email at 5.30 tonight with pictures attached that were absolutely disgusting. And I don't think any of us on this meeting or surroundings would accept that if that was our neighborhood. If you were living in that area, and Richard, I think you're the only one of your guys that's seen those pictures, would you like that in your neighborhood? No. Um, so I, I can't say. I didn't drive by and see the trash today. All I got was an email. So... Um, 
I can tell you that I got it from the mayor today. So if I was a betting man, I would say it never got done because if he contacted them and said it got done, why would the mayor send me an email today with those pictures? Sure. So, again, I don't want to drag tonight out. We need to, we need to move forward. The technicalities of the plan are, is up to engineering's um, liking. I think we either need to continue or uh, approve with a condition that their properties in West Springfield need to be up to par. Not really sure how we would word that. I guess we'd kind of dump that on Allison's lap if she'd help us. But Jay, go ahead. I, I mean, if that's the, if that's the case, and I, I can't I can't see how it's it's not the case that I mean I don't have a project with problems uh, with the project. Excuse me, uh, as it's laid out, I think en the engineers have hashed it out. The special conditions look like it covers everything that anybody was concerned with. Uh, if we add the trash, I think that resolves it, and. Um, you know, to your point, as, as, you're, as we're kind of going through this, we obviously are not an enforcement agency, never were. Um, I just hate to see it get let go. Uh, like, well, the, I, the fact of the matter is if it doesn't get signed off by an inspector, they can't use it. I guess I, this, you know, here's, so here's the, the issue is whether or not the inspector follows through and does hold them to the conditions. But again, you know, we can't. It's not our job to, to I don't know, reprimand or discipline or question the inspector. That's not our job. We, we have a job to do. We do it. Um, unfortunately, there's people that enforce it. If we as citizens are not happy with that, then we go to the powers to be and complain that, you know, you're on a volunteer board, you're putting a condition on, and the people above you aren't doing their job. So that's not what this meeting's for. So. Uh, personally speaking, I'd be happy voting on this um, with the added special condition that the trash get cleaned up. And uh, I really hope it does not get signed off on unless it's done uh, properly. Whether it's can wh whether we move this to another next meeting or not, it's not going to change that. Correct. Sue? I just want to say that I agree 100% we're not the enforcer. We put the conditions that needs to be done. But I have to say that when we put conditions say on a pro previous project and it wasn't done and then they come back in front of us again, I get, I, I don't trust them that they're really going to do it. And the, see that's, and I'm not trying to be an enforcer, but part of our job is, Hey, you were supposed to clean this up with the last project and you didn't like you said earlier, Frank, which was perfect. How do we know you're going to do it this time? Right. Th those words were perfect. Right. And, 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 <laughs> It kind of stinks for us because mm -hmm. we have guidelines to go by. If someone else isn't doing their job, it, it's hard for us to, I don't know, penalize. You know, I don't know. We got to be careful what we're saying in general here too. But, um, but I, I, I couldn't agree more. But I, I don't <laughs> think because we have a management issue in our town hall doesn't mean that these but guys I should. That is but, not the applicant's problem. I guess, the, and I agree, it's not the applicant's problem because they're they're just a tenant, but unfortunately, they're they're leasing land, a piece of property that isn't being maintained. But I disagree in, in a little bit only because if they come in front of us again, and I have nothing against this because you guys, it's not your problem that I mean, when you lease the land, I'm going to take it that you're going to have to keep it clean. You're the tenant. But I guess my issue is, is again, when people say they're going to do something and they come in front of us a, a second time to do another project, we're not the enforcer, but we, we are able to question it and say, you didn't do it the last time. What makes you say you're going to do it this time? I guess one of my, one of my thoughts is I like what Bev said to maybe continue it, but I'm, I have to agree with you too, Frank. I'm, I can go both ways. But I'm a little nervous because I was listening to Richard and he said he's going to talk to him. Well, talking to him and then doing it is two different things. Well, I, 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 and Richard, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did kind of put him on the spot and I, yeah. I said that to him and, and, and I think he answered it the way I wanted it answered. But just to clarify, Richard, 
you're going to see to it that they clean it up because if we put a condition on it that it has to be cleaned up, we're going to follow through with the inspection services to make sure that it doesn't get um, signed off on if the properties aren't cleaned up. Is that clear to you? No, that's, that's definitely understood, um, Frank. And, you know, again, I, I agree the pictures uh, speak volumes to it. I haven't been out there myself or, you know, none of us have gone out this evening to see what it looks like. Um, this is all so new to, to everyone, I guess, seeing uh, the specific issue. Um, and, you know, I can't make a commitment, like I said earlier, as to when that uh, will happen. Um, you know, we, we do respond to these concerns uh, across our network, uh, especially with regards to trash and things. And I fully expect us to, uh, CSX as a whole, to, to respond to this. Um, my only, I guess, question to, to you and the board is in wording that condition, um, which is fine. Um, yeah, is, is there a, some, some form of definition of, of the area? I mean, if we say all CSX property within the town, that gets to be considerable. I don't know if there's other specific areas that are bad. I don't want, and I, I also don't want to say we've cleaned up this area and that area and then somebody turns and says well we found some, some something here and we found something there and we're chasing ourselves um, well i think we're i yeah i understand so, where you're coming from but i think we're, we're splitting hairs here i mean we're not looking for cxs to take that picture that you got tonight and clean up that area we're looking at them to be a good neighbor in the town and keep all their property up to par so if as far as I'm concerned, that's the way it's worded. All property owned by CXS needs to be maintained and cleaned to, to, to zoning standards. And unfortunately for you, if that's a piece of property that's down uh, near the Westfield line, well, then they better get doing what they should be doing because they're uh, not a very good landlord if that's the case. Um, so if you, you know... I guess my question to you guys would be, would you rather us continue it and get some answers for ourselves, or would you rather a condition put on that now the condition's on there? Which, before you answer that, I can almost guarantee you if we continue it, there will be some sort of condition anyways. Um, I'm not saying there wouldn't be a condition, um, but if we, put a, if we vote tonight and put a condition on, it's there. didn't think this was going to be that hard, did you? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I understand that, and I, I agree. We can, we continue this for to the next meeting. Um, how about, you know, how about we I, I don't know if we if we get out there and clean everything. I don't know if that meets everything, it, your concerns as CSX as a company. How about if we get, how about if we get something in writing from your landlord, we continue it, and then we get a letter from you guy, from your guys, um, stating that they're going to do it by X date, and uh, that's what we attach to the condition. Uh, however you want to handle it, I guess. Jay, go ahead. It's a tell. I mean, the, to to back away from the the pictures of the trash from today that I haven't seen, but they sound like they're uh, valid. The, the really the bigger problem is why did it ever get this messy to begin with like you could not pick another business in town right and they would not let their property get that trash to the point where it has to come up in a planning board meeting and we have to beat it up and send pictures around that's hideous i mean so who makes these decisions and what is their what does their property look like so i, I want to add to that it, it wouldn't even be so much other businesses letting their property go like that, they wouldn't get away with it. There's that's, no way. That's, that's the issue. CXS is so big and they think they're like the government that they do whatever they want, whenever they want, don't care about anybody else. And that's just the way it is. I've called them stuck at the train railroad crossing with a 45 foot diesel pusher that I could not turn around. And they basically told me, turn the air condition on and put your awning out because we're not moving until, you know, whatever. 
irrelevant to this conversation, but to the point is they don't care about anybody. It's their their big government is what they think they are, and they're pretty close to it, and we're not going to fix them on a one planning board meeting, but we can don't have to make it that easy either. We, we have the opportunity to get it cleaned up one and done. I'm pretty confident, provided the town departments do their part without signing off on the project until that uh, condition is met. Probably safe to say the property's gonna end up looking like it does right now. Probably safe to say there's not much we could do about that um, unless somebody else chimes in, but that also really doesn't have anything to do with the, uh, the project at hand, unfortunately, you know? Again, I'd really like to move on, so I can't do it, but one of you three need to make a motion, whether it's to close the public hearing and approve with a condition or whether it's a motion to continue. So somebody throw a motion out there and it'll either get voted down or voted uh, in. Jay, go ahead. I guess I'd like to propose we make a motion to continue it. I want to do a little bit of homework on, on mine, uh, on, on myself to, to uh, talk to basically some of the, some of the town departments and see. Okay. There's a motion on a table. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? It needs to be continued to a date and time certain. Uh, in this case, it's July 21st at uh, 620. All right. I'll move to, uh, oh, go ahead, Frank. No, go ahead. I was going to. Go ahead and restate your motion with the date and time. Okay. Move to continue um, the hearing to July 21st at 620. Yeah. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? With that being said, we'll go to a roll call. Bev? Yes. Sue? Yes. Jay? Yes. Frank? Yes. Sorry, guys. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, suggestion to you would maybe do a little bit of communication with the powers to be so that if there's any other questions in two weeks you'll have some answers and uh, Richard if you could share those pictures with unfortunately these other two guys not that not that they can do anything but they'll know what we're talking about so that we don't look so uh, uh, tough <laughs> no I will, I will do that and I appreciate it thank you okay thank you guys all right, Thank Allison, uh, what do we got? Accepted some meetings from June 16th. <clears throat> Everybody read them? There wasn't much to read. Someone want to make a motion yeah. to approve? Motion to approve the meetings from, I just clicked off of it. Uh, what was the date? June 16th, June 16th. You. June 16th. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Oh, I'm no way to roll call. Bev? Yes. Sue? Abstain. Uh, Jay? Yes. Frank? Yes. Okay, is that it, Allison? That's it. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to uh, adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right, Bev? Yes. Sue? Yep. Jay? Yes. Frank? Yes. Good night, West Springfield.